Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you all some clippings that I got from Curls Queen. This is everything that came in the packaging. You do get a bonnet, a brush, and then some additional clips for your clippings. And I got curly clippings. This is what they look like here. You get 10 in all. So there's two sizes of each, but there is four of the smaller size, which is two clips. And it goes up from five all the way to the two, which again, you get four of. So I just started off by shampooing my clip-ins to prep before I put them into my head. So for my install, I am doing a flip over method. So I just have for the base, a normal braid down straight to the back. And then this is an old quick weave. So this is the base from that. My hair is just braided straight back with socking cap over top. This style allows for very minimal leave out and especially with curly clip-ins, I wanna make sure that I get a good blend. So I always try to leave out as little hair as possible and that's why I have that braid in the front. But before I put my clip-ins in, I am just prepping them with some Cantu and water and then I'm just gonna comb them out because I did let them air dry after I did shampoo them. So I'm starting with the longest clip-in and I'm just working my way up my head and then I am going to start positioning my clip-ins a little bit differently once we get to the top because again we're doing the flip over method. So right now I'm just making a normal u-shape around my head which is perfect for the um, base that I have because like I said this is a previous quick weave so I'm actually installing these clip-ins just like a quick weave and right now the clip-ins are wet so this is what they look like. And I'm just doing the same thing up my head for the additional clip-ins, just combing them out. And they are curly, so of course it does take a little bit more to comb them out. But all in all, they did very, very well. I didn't have any issues with shedding. The curl pattern is really nice. You guys are gonna see it, how it looks um, dry as well, because right now, of course, they're wet. And I did put gloves on only because I had um, some accessories on my nails. I had little bowls on my nails and they were snagging the hair so bad. So I had to um, put these gloves on so it wouldn't snag the hair. Oh my gosh, it was so horrible, but the gloves saved me. So now I'm able to run my fingers through it a lot better without the hair snagging on my nails. Now that I'm at the top of my head, I'm going to start laying the tracks diagonally. So I'm using the clip-ins with just two clips. These are the smallest sizes and I have four of them and they fit all the way across my head with the space that I have left. So I'm just laying them diagonally, just kind of fitting them around because of course I want to cover the track in the back and I do want the hair to lay forward as well so with this way you can definitely kind of play around with it you could even just lay them straight to the back without making it go diagonal if you wanted to blend your hair back as if like you're wearing a headband but i opted for the flip over method where i am gonna end up flipping the hair you guys are gonna see in just a moment but the blend was amazing the um, clip-ins are definitely thick enough for a full head like i said i could have just left my edges out but this is all of the hair and it looks amazing i absolutely loved it and now i'm going to start um blending my hair so i'm using a wand curler like i said my hair does not blend well with curly hair um so i always try to curl my hair or i'll crimp it but i know my natural texture 
does not blend at all with this texture of hair. I did let the hair dry. I sat under my dryer before I started with my um, flat iron. So the curls that you guys see now is the hair completely dry, which is really nice. So I'm just curling my leave out with my wand curler and kind of just put, um, pushing everything to the side, helping everything blend. And then um, as well as kind of pulling the hair forward so it's kind of a mixture of my hair and the clip-ins so this is something that you'll definitely have to play around with i do wish that i left even less hair out so that it would be more of the clip-ins that you would see instead of um, my hair but this hairstyle is very very easy something that you could like kind of throw together as you go along okay so this is another time that i wore the clip-ins as well the my camera had cut off in the previous clips but i've worn these clip-ins for weeks and they still look really good so again i just have that same blend with the um wand curler now i'm just doing my edges so i like to use hairspray i use the ebit hairspray and i'm just kind of you know playing around with my edges seeing what looks right spraying that on i'm kind of out of it i think it took me forever to get it out the can but um yeah that's pretty much it i absolutely love these clip-ins they looked really really good and natural i got so many compliments on them but the clip-ins from curls queen are always always super nice so as always, the links are in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this style. Please let me know if you have ever installed your clip-ins like this as well. They're curly or yakky type of clip-ins. You can always do a full head of. So absolutely love this option. Very minimal leave out and it looks more natural than I would say a wig sometimes. So definitely check them out and let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like it if you did and subscribe to my channel. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next one.